what I want to do is thank everybody on the Occupy Wall Street movement for coming together. We're coming together with a few sparks that we try to keep going from the 60s and turn it into a wild brush fire sweeping the world. Yeah. Thank you, y'all. Yeah. Right. It's a hell of a thing you've been doing. It's a hell of a thing we hope you continue doing. We may not win anytime soon. It's a long time struggle, but it's not so much uh, the goals, it's the journey. And we can do this. Thank you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I'm here representing a movement of veterans and soldiers who are against this war, both in Iraq and Afghanistan. My name is Jose Vasquez. I'm the executive director of Iraq Veterans Against the War. And I'm a veteran, and I'm part of the 99%. Some of you may have heard about our brother, Scott Olson, who was... Uh, Brutalized by the Oakland Police Department out in Oakland, Occupy Oakland. I, I bring good tidings from the Bay Area. He's doing well. He's getting better every day. And I want you to know that Scott was out at Occupy Oakland every night. He would go to work during the day and sleep every night out at Occupy Oakland. So he was a dedicated veteran. He believes in this movement. He knows that uh, the 1% of the people who benefit from these wars, who benefit from the bailouts, who benefit from all of the things that are happening to the people every day in this country. And that's what this group is all about. This is the only occupation that I believe in. Yeah. Yeah. Today's Veterans Day. But I want you to know that sometimes these 1% ask us to do things in the name of the people that have nothing to do with benefiting the American people and have nothing to do with helping Iraqi people, have nothing to do with freeing Afghan women. It has to do with oppression. It has to do with imperialism. It has to do with making money off of working class people. I have a message for the New York Police Department. I know that many of you in your ranks are veterans, and I want you to know that you do not have to take orders if they are unjust. Many of us stand against unjust orders, and if there are any veterans out there who are asked to brutalize the people of New York or anyone across this country, if you're in the police department and you don't believe in the orders you're being given, then don't follow those orders and stand with the people. We volunteer to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I can tell you that the greatest threat we face right now is a domestic threat right here at home, right down the street, the people that are ripping us off every day. Thank you again for inviting me here. What a day.
Day. And uh, I think on Veterans Day, not only about my friends and family who served in the military, a lot of people from my generation, from my high school, who were the first round to get thrown into Afghanistan and Iraq, people who joined the military before 9-11, People who joined the day after 9-11, thinking they were fighting for their people. And um, they carry wounds, they carry injuries. And not all those injuries are visible. It's not just missing limbs. It's, it's missing emotions. It's parts of the mind that don't function the same anymore. It's relationships that aren't the same anymore. It's relationships that fell apart. Um, and uh, I also think about people like my, my childhood babysitter, Austin Koch, who never lived to become a veteran because he was killed in Iraq because of the Bush cabal, because of these bankers, because of these corporations that make so much money from these wars. One thing I want to say, y'all, to everybody who's been involved in Occupy Wall Street from the early days, um, this is a big deal. Like, globally, nationally, this is huge. And I think that we are in the early stages of what we might look back upon as a very, very significant changing moment in our history. And I think that that is extremely exciting. Down to the bottom. It's 2011 and we're racing down to the bottom. Woo! 